Well, hello and welcome to the WebMonkey Show. My name is Alex and today I have a very different video from the usual tutorials. Today I am going to introduce you to what I believe are the best 10 plugins that you can use on your WordPress blog. So if you have a blog on any kind of subject, whether it's on traveling, cooking, sports, whatever, I believe these are the best 10 plugins that you can use to both manage and grow your blog. Now I have used all these plugins before and actually use eight of them right now live on my website, on my own personal blog. The other two, I don't use them and I'll explain to you why I don't use them once we get to them. But the very first plugin on our list is going to be Akismet. If you have a blog, chances are you're going to enable comments so that people can make comments on your articles, your posts. You're going to have spam comments one way or the other. Spam will arrive and with Akismet, you can stop those comments from appearing on your website. If you don't take care of spam, they can negatively impact your SEO. So you definitely want to make sure that spam comments never make it to your posts. And Akismet, in my humble opinion, is one of the best, if not the best plugin for fighting against spam comments. And it's also absolutely free. So you can just install it. It's very, very lightweight and it does its job perfectly. So Akismet for uh, number one. Number two is going to be the WP Discuss uh, comments plugin. Now, the default WordPress comment section is usually very, very dull. It's boring. What WP Discuss does better than any other comments plugin out there is that it provides styling, functionality, and above all, it doesn't slow down your website. It's absolutely a fantastic plugin for, for comments. And I'm going to show you an example of one of my dummy sites where I'm actually using this particular plugin, and it's right here. So basically, if anyone wanted to post a comment on this article in here right now, they'll have to add the name, email, and then they'll also have to add the capture code to ensure that it's not a spam comment. Plus they can also uh, hit the bell so that they're notified whenever anyone responds to the comment, or they can even come in here and subscribe so that if anyone posts like new comments on this particular article, they can get notified via uh, email. So it adds a lot more functionality and adds a lot more style to the default uh, WordPress comments section. Definitely uh, check out WP Discuss. The next plugin on our list here is going to be Rank Math. And oh boy, this is a plugin I have fallen absolutely in love with over the past few months. For many years, I was using Yoast SEO. I thought Yoast was the greatest plugin ever. I started using Rank Math a few months ago, and I can honestly tell you that Rank Math is the superior uh, plugin for SEO without question. And what I'm going to do, in fact, is I'm going to make a full tutorial on how to use this plugin. So be sure to hit the bell, subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload uh, new content. But why is Rank Math better than uh, Yoast SEO? Well, it offers everything that Yoast does, but it is a lot easier to use. The user interface is superior. Plus, Yoast SEO actually has a paid version where they offer additional uh, fun fun functionality. Rank Math offers you all the functionality and it is absolutely free of charge. That is the, the best thing about this plugin. It's absolutely free. There is also a Facebook group managed by them that you can join in and they provide support 24 seven. It is just, this is a plugin made in heaven and I'm, I'm really praying that they don't begin to charge for the plugin because it is awesome in every way. So if you've been using Yoast for, if you've been using Yoast and you're not entirely satisfied with Yoast, I would highly recommend you give a shout out to Rank Math. Try Rank Math today. You will not be disappointed. And again, I will make a full tutorial on how to use Rank Math uh, in the coming weeks. All right, the next plugin on our list here is going to be the WP Review uh, plugin. This is a plugin that has both a free and a paid version. But the, what this plugin does is that it allows you to write professional reviews for whether it's services, products, you name it. I use this plugin on my own website and here's an example of how it actually works. So for example, this is an article I wrote many years ago comparing the different page builder, Site Origin, Elemental, Beaver Builder and so on. In here right now, you can see the score I gave for Site Origin. You can see the main features, the score, that's for Site Origin. You can see for Beaver Builder here 4.7 and so on. So I used the plugin to create this particular kind of review. It is absolutely fantastic. It does not slow your website down. And with the paid version of the plugin, you can include uh, schemas for movies, schools. You can change the coloring system. It is it is absolutely fantastic. And I do have a full tutorial 
on how to use this particular plugin. Be sure to check the link in the comments uh, section below. But even though it has a paid version, the free version is also fantastic. You can do a lot with your free version. So if you're going to be writing reviews on your blog, whether it's for services, products, movies, you name it, definitely uh, give a WP Review Pro uh, a chance. I think you will absolutely love the plugin. All right, next is going to be opt-in forms. Now, to be fair, there are other plugins that do something very similar, but I like opt-in forms because of its simplicity. It is very, very simple to use, and it's basically a plugin that you can use to build your mailing list. It is fully compatible with MailChimp, uh, uh, covered kit, get response, eye contact, or whatever, and so on. And it also offers you different kinds of uh, templates that you can use, about six of them. So very, very simple. You can install it, connect the plugin with your uh, email account system. Maybe if, it, uh, if your mail account system, if it's if it's Mailchimp, for example, you connect it to Mailchimp. You add your template, and it's good to go. Very simple to use. Very very effective. I love this plugin. Definitely give it uh, a try if you are interested in building your mailing list. Next plugin is going to be the WP Last Modified Info. Now, this is a plugin that typically would not make most top ten lists for best plugins for blogs but it's actually very very important you see whenever you write an article and maybe six months from that day you decide to update that article it's always a good idea to indicate that hey this article has been updated as an example this very same article that i wrote on page builders this was published initially february 6th of 2017 that's more than three years ago but thanks to the plugin when i updated this article you can see right now it shows that hey this was last updated february 23rd 2020 so this is useful because it informs the reader that okay even though this article was initially published many years ago it's been updated it also is good for search engines because now google and other search engines will know that okay this article has been updated definitely give this plugin a try i i think you would love uh, its functionality plus it's very very simple and it's fully customizable uh, to use as well but moving on to optimal and oh boy yeah this is another plugin i have fallen in love with over the past few weeks actually i only started using this plugin i think way back early in january basically this plugin is used for optimizing your images now if you have a blog the chances are you're going to be using lots of images for your articles your posts images can slow down your website because they're typically heavier than uh, text you need to optimize your images and this I believe is the best plugin for image optimization. It is better than Imagify, it is better than Smosh, it's better than the EWWW image, image uh, optimizer. And why? Because what it does is that it actually optimizes your images via a cloud-based system. It is absolutely amazing. Plus, it supports every single kind of image format, even the, the, the new generation of uh, image formats, not just PNGs or JPEGs. It supports every every possible kind of uh, image format out there and like i said it is based on the cloud you install it it's very very easy to use i absolutely love this plugin if you're looking for one to help you optimize your images try optimal today i think you're going to love this plugin plus it's also free they do have paid versions of the plugin but from what i can tell the only difference between the free version and the paid version is that uh you might get live support so if you're having any issues working with the plugin, you'll get a live support if you go with the paid versions. That's the only uh, real benefit I feel. But I've been using the plugin for many weeks now and I've never had any calls to contact the, you know, the support uh, staff. So there you go. All right, next plugin here is going to be the easy table of contents plugin. If you write posts that are more than say 2000 words, it's always best that you create a table of contents that will allow users to scroll through your content. It is great for SEO, it's great for the user experience. So what this plugin does is that basically it will scan through your post and then look for like the main header. So if you have like an H2, H3, it will then add those headings into a table of contents. And of course you can edit, make sure that it's actually accurate. Definitely give this plugin a try. It's by Steven A. Zam. There are other table of content plugins out there, but I like this one in particular because it's very, very simple. This is actually one of the two plugins I don't use on my own personal blog, and that's because I use Elementor, and Elementor already has inbuilt functionality for creating uh, a table of contents plugin. But if you're not using Elementor, definitely give this plugin um, a try. I think you will love this plugin. Okay, we're almost there. Plugin number nine is going to be the social sharing for WordPress by 
uh, Social Snap LLC. There is a lot of plugins out there for sharing content on social media. But in my humble opinion, this is one of the very best because it is fully customizable. And even though there is a paid version of the plugin, the free version is fantastic. It allows you to add a floating bar to the left. It allows you to, to customize whatever networks you want users to be able to share your content on. You can change the coloring system, the styling options. It is absolutely amazing. And this is an example of what you get with the free version. You can see the floating bar right now on the left, for example, it's right there. Plus, you can also see down in here, you can users can share this article on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and they can even add their own uh, additional uh, systems, maybe like Pinterest uh, and so on and so forth. So definitely give uh, social sharing for WordPress by Social Snap a try. I think you will like this plugin as well. And last but not least, this is the 10th plugin and also the second plugin that I do not use on my own personal website. This is the Content Locker plugin by my theme shop, the same guys who made the Rank Math plugin and also the WP Review Pro plugin. So what does Content Locker do? Basically, what it does is that it will show part of your content to the reader first. And then if the reader wants to look at the remaining parts of the content, they will either have to share the article on social media or they will have to sign up or sign in. So it's a great way to boost traffic to your site. It's a great way to get users to sign up on your website. But I would recommend caution because this could also backfire sometimes because sometimes uh, readers might not be convinced that, hey, I need to sign up to your website. I'll just go elsewhere to look for the information I'm looking for. So make sure that before you actually use this plugin, make sure that you actually have really, really good content that will compel uh, readers to actually sign up so that they can actually view the content. Okay, so I recommend you give it a trial. If you notice all of a sudden that your bounce rates have increased or that you're losing traffic, then you may want to uninstall the plugin and, and, and try something else. But definitely, I think this is a plugin that you can give uh, a try and see what happens. So there you go. These are my top 10 plugins for WordPress blogs. I know that this is a relative and a subjective uh, these are subjective choices basically, but if you have a counter arguments, if there are other plugins that you feel are better than the ones I've listed in here, please put them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you, of course, if you agree with me on any of these plugins, also feel free to share your comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about them. So that's pretty much it. I will have the necessary links in the description box below the tutorial for uh, my theme shop for the WP review uh, plugin. I'll include it in the uh, comment section below, in the description box below, so that you can uh, take a look at the tutorial. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.